Copper hydride, also systematically named polycuprin-1, is a pyrophoric, inorganic compound with the chemical formula CUHN, also written as CUHN or CUH. It is an odorless, metastable, red solid, rarely isolated as a pure composition, that decomposes to the elements. Copper hydride is mainly produced as a reducing agent in organic synthesis and as a precursor to extremely reactive catalysts. Nomenclature The systematic name copper hydride is the most commonly used name. It is a valid IUPAC name, being constructed according to compositional nomenclature. Copper hydride is also used generically to refer to the alloyed mixture of copper and atomic hydrogen, known as the copper hydrogen system, of which there exists various phases. It is also used to refer to any compound containing a CUH bond. The oxidation state of copper in copper hydride is plus 1. History In 1844, the French chemist Adolphe Wurtz synthesized copper hydride for the first time. This reaction consisted of the reduction of copper sulfate with hypophosphorus acid, H3PO2. In 2011, Panitat Hassin and Yi Ying Wu were the first to synthesize a metal hydride, copper hydride, using the technique of sonication. Copper hydride has the distinction of being the first metal hydride discovered. In 2013, it was established by Donnerer et al. that, at least up to 50 GPa, copper hydride cannot be synthesized by pressure alone. However, they were successful in synthesizing several copper hydrogen alloys under pressure. Chemical properties structure in copper hydride, elements adopt the wurtzite crystal structure polymeric, being connected by covalent bonds. Other lower metal hydrides polymerize in a similar fashion, C, F, aluminium hydride. Under certain conditions, a metastable amorphous solid forms. This solid decomposes above minus 60 degrees Celsius, minus 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Chemical reactions CUH generally behaves as a source of H. For instance, Wurtz reported the double displacement reaction of CUH with hydrochloric acid, CUH plus HCl copper 1 chloride plus H2 when not cooled below minus 5 degrees Celsius, 23 degrees Fahrenheit, copper hydride decomposes, to produce hydrogen gas and a mixture containing elemental copper, 2 CUH x Cu, 2 x CUH plus 1 half x H2, 0 production copper does not react with hydrogen even on heating, thus copper hydrides are made indirectly from copper I, and copper II precursors. Examples include the reduction of copper II, sulfate with sodium hypophosphite in the presence of sulfuric acid, or more simply with just hypophosphorus acid. Other reducing agents, including classical aluminium hydrides can be used. 4Cu2 plus plus 6H3PO2 plus 6H2O4 CUH plus 6H3PO3 plus 8H plus the reactions produce a red-colored precipitate of CUH, which is generally impure and slowly decomposes to liberate hydrogen, even at 0 degrees Celsius. 2CUH2Cu plus H2 This slow decomposition also takes place underwater, however there are reports of the material becoming pyrophoric if dried. Reductive sonication copper hydride is also produced by reductive sonication. In this process, hexaaquacopper and hydrogen react to produce copper hydride and oxonium according to the equation, Cu H2O 6 2 plus plus 3 H1 N CUH N plus 2 H3O plus plus 4 H2O hydrogen is obtained in situ from the homolytic sonication of water. Reductive sonication produces molecular copper hydride as an intermediate. Applications in organic synthesis polymeric CUH, and exhibits poor solubility and stability and is rarely used in organic synthesis. However ligated copper hydride species, LNCUH, L equals PR3 or NHC, which may be oligomeric or monomeric in solution, are commonly employed in organic synthesis. Whitesides first described the reducing properties of phosphine ligated copper hydride species. Stryker popularized the hexameric PH3P CUH6 Stryker's reagent as a mild and selective reagent for the conjugate reduction of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds. Shortly thereafter, Stryker reported the use of H2 at least 80 psi as the terminal reductant, allowing a catalytic amount of pH3P CUH6 to be used for conjugate reduction reactions. 
Subsequently, Hayama reported that hydrosilanes HSIR-3, could be used as a convenient alternative to H2 for the regeneration of a LNCUH species, although no mechanistic rationale was offered at the time. Brunner was the first to report that hydrosililation of acetophenone in the presence of a chiral phosphine copper catalyst afforded enantioenriched product up to 40% E. This process is now recognized to proceed through the enantioselective addition of L** CUH across the C equals O bond. Buchwald developed a highly enantioselective 80 to 92% E reduction of prochiral alpha beta unsaturated esters using tall BINAP as a chiral ligand for copper in the presence of PMHS as the reductant. Lipschitz subsequently developed conditions for the CUH catalyzed hydrosililation of ketones and imines proceeding with excellent levels of chemo and enantioselectivity. The reactivity of LNCUH species with weakly activated e.g. styrenes, dinas, and unactivated alkenes e.g. alpha olefins and alkynes has only recently been recognized and has served as the basis for several copper catalyzed formal hydrofunctionalization reactions. Hydride copper. Hydride copper, also systematically named cuprin, one, is a related inorganic compound with the chemical formula CUH, also written as CUH. It is a gas that cannot be concentrated in pure form. Properties. Hydride copper is a hydrophilic polar solute and so dissolves in polar compounds. As hydridocopper is an electron-deficient compound, its dominant behavior is to polymerize, first to oligomers, then to copper hydride. A well-known oligomer is octahedrohexacuprin-6, occurring in Stryker's reagent. Hydridocopper has acidic behavior for the same reason as normal copper hydride. However, it does not form stable aqueous solutions, due in part to its autopolymerization, and its tendency to be oxidized by water. Copper hydride reversibly precipitates from pyridine solution, as an amorphous solid. However, repeated dissolution affords the regular crystalline form, which is insoluble. Under standard conditions, molecular copper hydride autopolymerizes to form the crystalline form, including under aqueous conditions, hence the aqueous production method devised by Wurtz. Production Molecular copper hydride can be formed by reducing copper iodide with lithium aluminium hydride in ether and pyridine. 4 qui plus LiAlH4 CuH plus Li plus aluminium iodide This was discovered by E. Weiberg and W. Hennel in 1952. The solution of this CuH in the pyridine is typically dark red to dark orange. A precipitate is formed if ether is added to this solution. This will redissolve in pyridine. Impurities of the reaction products remain in the product. In this study, it was found that the solidified diatomic substance is distinct from the wurtzite structure. The wurtzite substance was insoluble and was decomposed by lithium iodide, but not the solidified diatomic species. Moreover, while the wurtzite substance's decomposition is strongly base catalyzed, whereas the solidified diatomic species is not strongly affected at all. Diltz distinguishes between the two copper hydrides as the insoluble and soluble copper hydrides the soluble hydride is susceptible to pyrolysis under vacuum and proceeds to completion under 100 degrees celsius amorphous copper hydride is also produced by anhydrous reduction in this process copper i and tetrahydroaluminate react to produce molecular copper hydride and triiodoaluminium adducts the molecular copper hydride is precipitated into amorphous copper hydride with the addition of diethyl ether. Amorphous copper hydride is converted into the Wurtz phase by annealing, accompanied by some decomposition. History Hydridocopper was discovered in the vibration rotation emission of a hollow cathode lamp in 2000 by Berneth, who detected it at the University of Waterloo. It was first detected as a contaminant while attempting to generate Na plus using the hollow cathode lamp. 
Molecular copper hydride has the distinction of being the first metal hydride to be detected in this way. 1, 0, 2, 0, and 2, 1. Vibrational bands were observed along with line splitting due to the presence of two copper isotopes, 63Cu and 65Cu. The A1 sigma plus X1 sigma plus absorption lines from CuH have been claimed to have been observed in sunspots and in the star 19 Piscium. In vapor experiments, it was found that copper hydride is produced from the elements upon on exposure to 310 nanometers radiation. Cu plus H2 left right arrow CuH plus H however, this proved to be unviable as a production method as the reaction is difficult to control. The activation barrier for the reverse reaction is virtually non-existent, which allows it to readily proceed even at 20 Kelvin. Other copper hydrides Although there are no conventional alloys of copper that intentionally incorporate hydrogen, it is known to cause embrittlement of copper. A binary dihydride, copper two hydride, also exists, in the form of an unstable reactive intermediate in the reduction of copper hydride by atomic hydrogen. References <laughs>